guys, this is Panda Babes. Um, I'm here to do a review. First of all, I do want to apologize for the background. It's not the most pleasant scene to be looking at. But as you all know, if you've been watching my videos and keeping up on me, I just moved to California. So, yeah, I'm not fully unpacked yet. Well, we're not fully unpacked yet. We haven't got our couches here yet. So it's kind of a mess in the background. I apologize, but I did want to put some. I'm like probably driving me crazy moving my eyes around. I did want to keep putting up some reviews. So I got to deal with the ugly background. Um, it is the. It is designed by J-Bo. And it is a Wismic product. Wismic. And it is the. I'm going to. I know I'm not going to pronounce this correctly. Relix. Relix. Rx. Machina. I apologize. I do not know how to pronounce that word at all. Reliax. Reliax. Okay. I'm going to stop trying. <laughs> okay. Um, and on the back, it has all its little goodies of what's in it. It has its all its... Um, I really, I, I don't like packaging, I just hate shiny stuff, because of when you're trying to do a review, it's kind of hard for, you know, you guys. Let me just anyway. tell you what it has in it. Um, it does come with the MacMod, the RDA, the battery sleeve, because it does take a 1850, and also a 2700. 2700 battery. My first Mac mod that I've ever used that um taking a 2700 battery, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um Clapton, two Clapton coils they provide for you. Cotton, user manual, warning card, spare parts. We all love them spare parts. Okay, so this is what it will look like. For you guys, when you receive it, this is what you receive. And you will get your a little your mech mod. I got the honeycomb. And you get your J bow button. That's the fire button because I don't have a battery in it so it's not going it's not going to and there's all your air vents a lot of them nice <clears throat> and on the top of the mod the mech mod top of it it will have Wismac and the Wismac and RX Machina. RX Machina right there. Okay. And it's really cute. It's really small for little small hands like mine. I got little midget hands. You would open you would open this. This is where you would put your battery. And you see there's like some ventil there's a lot of ventilation. I mean uh, installation in there. Let me see if I can get it close up for you guys. See all that insulation? It's really nice for battery. Very good. I like that. Um and and then it comes with this little Wismac, and you can see through it. And you see, you get 
and this is for your your 1800 1850s 1850 batteries go in there positive down positive meeting there so you go positive in there this is just like the broad side and that other one I can never remember I'm actually using it right here um, I can't ever remember the name of this model. It, I'm borrowing this from Travis, so it's not mine, but that's the bottom of it. If, if you guys, let's see, so you guys got, I don't want any false information uh, or anything. That is the bottom of it. So, yeah, so you know how these mods. The positive goes down instead of up because of the air vent. So I had to get a had to get a little vape in here. All right. Um. So then you get your. Let's see what else we get. We get pieces. They put it in like little separate pieces. I don't know why, but okay. So you get your. You get your RDA. You get your RDA top drip tip. Drip. I mean, this is goon style drip tip. So goon style um, drip tips do fit in there. I have tried it. I will show you right now. Okay. So it does fit. Um, okay, and okay, and then so that there's the, the mod. Um, you have four air vents, air, I mean, air, air vents, air, air flows, sorry, and then. You have this piece, and how you would work it is you would put it in, in there, and you definitely you definitely want to do this before you put it on your build on your deck because I haven't seen a way to change the airflow once you put it on there. So, so you want to. You want to, um, so you can either do all of them. Oh, wait, you can either do all of them open, or you can do one if you want to do a single, if you want to do a single build. If you want to do a single build, you can only have one airflow open. They do not allow you to have this whole just whole this whole one side open. They um for some reason it's only the one open right there. And then you can also or you can also have two one on that side. And one on that side open. I, as always, like my airflows fully, fully open. I love them clouds. And, okay, um, let me show you the upcoming deck. No, deck. D -E, deck, deck, deck. Okay. Okay, so here's the deck. Um, I have a build in it already. Um, parallel. Four wraps. Four wrap parallel. And here is the deck. I should have seen this before I run into you guys. But here's the deck. 
it is a um, clamp style that you you unscrew you unscrew these loose, and then you have to push the wires through, and you have to clamp them both at the same time, like that. And there's about like that. There's about that much room in the well, but once you put this on top, you have a little more room to work with. I'll show you. So once it gets on there, then you have a lot more room to work with the juice. Yeah. So it does turn out to be better when once you have that in there. All right. So then you have your little handy dandy box. And what is in there is going to be, um, I gave my coils away to, for some, to, I gave my, I gave my coils away because I knew I wasn't going to use them. Um, so they're, they're missing from the bag, but everything else is here. You got your hex tool, your, your, um, some extra part screws. There is a squonk pin included in this. How awesome is that? And of course your O-rings. We all love them O-rings. And then you got your and you would have two um coils, clapping coils in here. And you got your cotton. This size Japanese style cotton. I mean Japanese cotton. And so, yeah, that's what you have in there. I don't, I don't really use that. I save it, of course, because you always might need it. Well, most likely need it in the future. And that is basically it. That is what you get in the box. Okay, now I'm going to put a link where I put it, got it from. Um, I paid $39.99 for this. Amazing price. Amazing, amazing price compared to some other places. I received it in two days. Two days. Like, it's the fastest shipping I've ever, I mean, and I only paid $8 shipping. I mean, $8 and some change shipping. Um, and it was two days. It was so, it was great. It was such a fast, fast transaction. It was everything came perfect. It was fantastic, and I got it from eightfaith.com. Eight, like the eight ball, like eight, the letter, the number eight, the letter eight, the number eight. Go back to school, Maria. Ding. Um, I will put the link, of course, of it for it, uh, of it before it. In the description, I can't talk today. Um, I'll put the link for where you can purchase this item down below in the description for thirty nine ninety nine. Cannot beat that for a RDA and a Mac mod together. Perfect. Um, now the size is twenty two millimeters. This the Mac the mod. The mech mod itself is 22 millimeters by 28 millimeters, designed by JBO. Material is stainless steel plus resin plastic. The thread is a 510 pin, gold plated fire button, um, powered by single high drain 2700 battery or 1850. Or 18, 18, I apologize for all the times I was saying 1850. So, so silly. 1850. 18650. Damn. Okay. Anyways, batteries are not included. Of course, you do get the battery sleep for the 18650. <laughs> um, fully mechanical, no spring magnets. Helps reduce hot buttons and misfires. Um, the RDA is a 30 millimeter by 24 millimeter meter 
material is stainless steel, gold plated by 10 pin. Again, adjustable side airflows, squawk friendly with incl included BF pin. Um, unique dual post build deck. I've seen these build decks before. I don't see anything unique about it. I've seen them before. Um, unique gluten like building posts. Deep juice well for large storage. Now, I've only seen the deep juice well if once you put that second piece on without that piece, you don't really have a deep juice well. But I guess that's not a con because you do get it. Once you receive, you once you put that second piece on. All right. Um. Yeah. So and it and on site they have other warnings and stuff like that. And it, it does come in resin. I'll show you if you can see. It does come in a a colored resin. Um, the honeycomb, the white honeycomb, I think it's called, and the black. And let's see what that one is called. It comes in knurled, knurled blackout, white honeycomb, resin honeycomb, honeycomb. I would think yellow honeycomb, but resin honeycomb. And swirled metallic resin. Very nice. Hopefully soon they, they just, I hope they just sell the sleeves because that would be amazing. I would want all of them. Alrighty. So let's get to this, let's, let's put this together. Let me show you some things. Okay, so as you take this apart, you see this. It's just, there's the button right there. And, and there is a O-ring. Closer up for you guys. There's a O ring right there. Right there. And you have to be careful when you put in this tube on because if you just go like that, there's a big chance that you can pull pull it down. I didn't do it this time, but when I received I bought two of these. On the second one, the O-ring was like down here. And I thought it was a dirty spot through here. I freaked out, but then I found out it was just the O-ring. So what I do is I just twist it like that just to be safe. So like I don't pull it, stretch out my O-ring. It's a nifty little um, tip, 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 tip. Nifty little tip for you guys. Just a nifty little tip for you guys. Yeah, there you go. Um, all right, so let's try it with the, I'm just gonna do it with the um, 2700 battery because this was it's meant for, well, you know, you can do it for both, but I got a nice 2700 battery right here. It is the, the Amkin battery. Um, okay. Positive down. So you put your positive down. So you don't want to listen. Do not, you, it will fire the opposite way, but I've heard it auto fires and a lot of bad things can happen. So then you would just care, you would just screw back on. So, boop, nice and pretty. Now I'm going to go put on put some cotton into my RDA, and I will be right back. And here is nice and pretty. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm going to set this to where I want it first because I have not figured out how to set it while it's on there, okay? But not that big of a deal, um, actually. Let's wet these coils up a little bit. All right. 
I am going to be using some hand crafted e-liquid Boston cream BSO breakfast from vapingswags.com. And I will be doing a review on that later on. So let's get these all juiced up. So I am all set up. <laughs> um, let's take a let's take a vape and see how it works. A little juice. Now I have been having some issues with my. You have to remember to look at your eyes. Not the, not myself. I have been having some issues with my my hands. I do apologize. Something is. I think it's not has something to do with my back from the road trip. Not quite sure. So I'm having trouble um, mobilizing my hands a little bit. Um, let's get some more juice on here. Doesn't seem juicy enough. You know, Pam always likes to over juice. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, that's, um, it, I love the, the mod. I love the Mac mod. The Mac mod is fantastic. I love the button. If my hands were working better, I would love it even better. But the button's responsive, and it's really pretty, and everything, the whole setup is really, really nice. It's like this big, well, it's smaller than my hand. And I have really, really small hands. I'm five one, so smaller in my hand. Um, not too keen about the RDA. The RDA we tried multiple builds in it, as well as we possibly could go without it being dangerous um, for us, because we like. And when I say me, we, it's me and Travis, overdose vapes, just so. There's, um, just so, I don't have to keep saying we, and you're like, who's this we, who's this other person? Um, well, we like rowdy, rowdy builds. I love clouds. I love flavor. I want a rowdy build. Um, I tried multiple builds with this build and, and any other RDA that we have, like the Goon or the Pulse or anything. It would be so rowdy right now, but it's not, you don't. It's not that rowdy. It's not. It's just not what. It's not satisfying to me. It's like I just want a little more, a little more roundiness, and it doesn't do it. And it is the RDA, 
it, it's not the mod because we've tried um, different mods on this make this make mod, different or different REAs on the mod and it it was Rowney's fucking day. It was great. Um, so Gardier is an ant for me. It does have good flavor though. The flavor is there. It's just not for me. My opinion, it's not rowdy enough. Um, which I always thought that it depended on the builds is how rowdy your mod, your mod is going to be, your, your RDA is going to be. But in this case, we've tried different builds and it just don't get rowdy. I have no clue why. Maybe because it's it's stainless steel. Um, I'm not quite sure. So, and it, it does get hot. Definitely gets hot, but I, no, I did vape it a, quite a bit. Um, so let's and like I said, and you run out of these batteries. You always have this. You can put it right inside the same way. Positive down. Crank it up. And there you go. Um, there ain't no difference with the button when you change the battery. Um, actually, I did notice with when you put this in the sleeve in with the 18650s battery, um, it, the push is a little more deeper. You do have to have a deeper um, push to get it started. So. It is a little different. Vape.com, they do sell just the mech mod alone by itself. I bought the set because I wanted the drip tip, obviously. And I wanted to try out the REA. I wanted to see how it was. Um, for the for $39.99, getting an REA and getting the mech mod and getting a nice drip tip. I mean, you you can't really complain about the RDA being not as up to par as you would like it to be. Everything else is great. I have not had a problem with it. I had not ha I haven't had any um, battery scratching with how battery goes in the. Um, let me take this off. Let me show you guys because I heard there were some concerns. And let me just clarify. Oh, and I do have a problem with like I'm not gonna do it because I have ju I'm juicing here, but this the top part does come off real easy of the RDA. So you do gotta be careful because if you have juice in there, a lot of juice, you will be pulling your whole thing up if you just pull try you're not being careful. All right, now. Again, you just take the top off. All right, now the sleeve. Now people were concerned because how there's like the batteries like right there and there's all that stuff. There is the battery doesn't even it's there's so much wiggle room. You're not scratching anything. And honestly, it's so smooth in there. They did such a great job with the, the build in there that there ain't nothing going to be scratching your batteries whatsoever. And even with the sleeve, like, there's so much room. You see all that room? So much room. And I'll actually, um, why I got the battery in, I will show you how it vapes with the um, 18650 battery. I heard they did have, to, they did a few um, re. I'll show you how, why I had this all, have it off, I'll show you how the 18650 battery um, works fires up with it. Um, they did have. I heard that um, they had a few remakes of this because of that um, battery fitting issues. Which, but there was never a 
it was never a dangerous issue. It was never a mechanical issue where it was a dangerous thing. It's just that your battery was not fitting, period. Like, which is going to happen because people, battery companies use different thickness of wrap, battery wraps. So, every, anyone can make that mistake. All right. Now, this is with the 18650 with the sleeve. My hand, I'm going to act to use two hands because my hands aren't working like normal. <laughs> you do have to push it a lot harder with the 18650. Um, that's why I have to use two hands right now. But yeah, it's a very, very good mod. It, and the REA does have good flavoring. It's if you just want that comfortable, comfortable, get a drink. If you just want to get that comfortable vape, not too hot because it does not, this is a very, it's a cool vape. It's like warm. It does not get a hot vape at all. The REA does get warm, but the um, vape product, like vape, is not a warm vape. So, if you like that cool, cooler inside kind of vape, and you don't know, like your build is too rowdy, this, I mean, this REA will work perfect for you. It's easy to build on, and the flavor is is very, very good. And yeah, it's a it's a great for having a combination of the REA and the MacMod. It's a it's a good deal. Thirty nine ninety nine, couldn't beat it. So I totally agree. I mean, I totally would recommend you to go buy it it's, it's very it's a nice little mech mod um it is hybrid so you so you would have to sorry i seen some a bird <laughs> you would have to know um your rules about not going to use this rda just make sure your pin right there your pin right there the gold pin it is um down enough so you don't um mess you don't get a short <laughs> I'm trying to think um just make sure this is low enough so you don't get a short just make sure it's hybrid tape yes yeah, so basically that's all I have to say about this mech mod I love it um Again, I, I don't love the REA because it's just too um, cool for me and too calm. It's not my type of vape that comes from it, but it does have amazing flavor. I will give it that. Um, it is easy to build on, and it's a very, it's a, in the, I mean, just this alone is great. I would definitely be rocking this with my goon um goon rda on top of it and be perfectly happy with that and i would love it you know i just i think it's a very very creative idea it's great and it's a love lovely lovely price for for this how pretty it is how cute and all the styles that i mean the styles that it comes from with the sleeves and i'm hoping to god was make make sleeves separate sold separately because i would love to get more sleeves for this I don't, and if i have to get another mod i guess i will have to get another mech mod but thank god they sell them separate now i mean they sell them separate but i would rather just buy the sleeve anyway i'm not i'm rambling on Go buy it. I, I um, aintvape.com. Great, great peop, um, company to order from. Fast delivery. Everything came perfect. And it does come with the um, authenticity. authenticity it does come with the authenticity scratch and sniff right there. And yeah. So. I would definitely recommend this to anyone that wants a cute under um low price cute mech mod, um, hybrid mech mod that 
is include that also includes the RDA. Now, without the RDA, let's see the price for that. Without the RDA, it's a couple of dollars cheaper. Um, it's thirty three ninety five without the RDA. So, I mean, it's still a, a very good price. Yeah, so that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I will be seeing you soon. Please share, like, and comment, and subscribe, of course. Thanks, guys. Bye.